Hey everybody, welcome back to The Dangen. On today's episode, we're checking out a brand new projector screen from Elite Screens. This is the 123 inch CLR Starbright projector screen. Stick around. <laughs> All right, everybody, make sure you hit that like and subscribe below, and thanks for joining me here today on The Dangen. Today we're going to review a brand new projector screen from Elite Screens. I know I've done a few different projector screens in the past, but this one is pretty cool. This is a 123-inch projector screen for a standard throw projector, so it's not meant for an ultra short throw or a short throw projector. If you, like me, have a standard home theater setup with a overhead projector, such as my LS12000B, this screen might be perfect for your setup, especially if you're looking to eliminate some ceiling light. Really what this screen is gonna be used for, especially in the Danjin, is for entertaining, but at the same time, watching a movie. If you wanna have a few lights on in the background, which is always nice, especially if you're hosting people, but you wanna have the game up on the screen, this is an ideal type of projector screen with the correct properties to help you get that done. Stick around while today I go over this new projector screen and I will show you all of the different cool features that this screen has to offer and some footage. Thanks for joining me here on The Danger and let's get going. All right, everybody, let's take a look at the Edge Free Aeon Starbright CLR16 from Elite Screens. It's a thin frame design. You can see that there's a small black bezel just around it. It offers an optional LED light kit that you can add to the back that gives you kind of a cool LED ambiance behind the scenes. And it's a gray material. It's not perforated. It's, it doesn't have any type of etching into it. And it's a 1.65 gain, which increases the projector's brightness and returns an image back to the viewer that has much more contrast. Setting it up was super easy. Putting together the frame was probably the longest part. Once you get that aluminum frame together, it comes with some great hardware. It's super easy to understand on the directions. You can then begin attaching all of the spring clips. That probably takes the second longest part. You just have to kind of go back and forth around the floor. But basically, just make sure you give yourself like 10 by 10 feet to work in and you can put it together no problem. The black frame in installs super easily and then the LED light rope is the final step, if you have to say, before you hang it on your wall. You can test that. You'll see here in the images, you can change it to all different colors and different modes. So it's super cool. Never had a projector screen that's allowed me to install a light kit before. Super excited when I installed it on this one. It does look great. Standing it upright, it's a huge screen. Make sure you use at least two people to hang it up on the wall. But once you get it up on the wall, it looks fantastic. Like I mentioned, it's a gray, almost matte type finish. It does have all the properties built in where it reflects that image, so it looks super bright though when you're watching film. The LED light control is controlled by this power brick and that receiver that I showed you, and then you have a remote to control the different colors and the different color modes. Super easy to do, just click it. It's kind of like your standard LED light kit that you might get in any other type of LED device that you'd buy and it looks great on the wall. This is with the lights on, flip through the colors, super bright, add something in the background that you know you maybe were missing that you never had before, but it really gives that great uh, ambiance behind the scenes with your projector. And then of course, if you can get the lights off, it looks even better, right? The screen you can tell is super dark. So when the lights are off, it gives you great image clarity and great contrast. When the lights are on, it still gives you a great image. I mean, just look at this. All the lights are on here in the Danjin. The projector is only at 75% brightness, mind you, which is what I keep it at for all my screens, just so you're aware. But the image looks fantastic. And then you dim the lights down just a little bit and it, it like doubles it, which it should. But at the same time, I never really experienced uh, an, a CLR screen like this that activates these properties so easily, especially with a laser projector. And the reason I say that is because usually with a laser projector, you get a lot of like shine back from that bright laser. 
they call it like laser speckle or laser sparkle depending on what you read in this case I didn't see anything maybe a little bit in some super bright white scenes but ultimately stuff like this I can leave the lights on and I can watch an episode of whatever I want and still see it clearly in the background here's an example of some really dark footage you'll see here that I have some interstellar footage obviously it takes place in space so there's a lot of black space galaxy background image looks great you can still see a little bit of the ceiling lights above but you can still make out the picture you can still make out the colors there's a lot going on in these scenes between brights darks you name it and I still think that the clarity and the image quality and the contrast comes out super great so what I want to compare it to though is interstellar when we switch to complete darkness and then you'll see where this projector really shines which is if you can get your room completely dark the screen has I don't want to call it OLED black levels but it has super excellent contrast and great black levels because of that property because of that gray screen offering advanced light rejection uh, limited glare from any type of lights so I thought this was a great test case I have a few more uh, film footages that I want to share with you that shows some of the black levels but all in all probably one of the better movies to test it out with flipping the lights back on you can see this is another black uh, level example that I wanted to share it's one I've put in a lot of my videos I just think it really presents what it has to offer with that LED light strip on the outside so you can actually see yes I'm filming the same screen as well as what those black levels look like with all the lights on just kind of a back and forth I know a lot of people like to know what it's like with a little bit of ambient light and this thing has been fantastic looking at it from like maybe a different va vantage point maybe you're working on something in the corner of your room and you still want to have some lights on like I had mentioned in the beginning of the video this is what it's gonna look like it's more than visible it looks to me at least from the footage you know like you have a TV on and the, the image clarity is fine and I can still walk around the dungeon and do what I need to do and see see what I need to do and have all those lights on and still get a great picture so yeah I mean in that regard as well if you turn the lights off you're still gonna have just as good an experience so here's what the image looks like at a at a viewing angle I'd say about 45 degrees excellent picture quality excellent black levels now in the top right corner of this image I just wanted to show you what the difference was with a square of white material in the top right and what it looks like in different scenes as you can tell if the lights are off that that white square looks fine but when the lights are on or when there's a very white scene you can see that square a lot more pronounced especially in this image just to give you an example of what the difference is between a gray ceiling light rejecting or ambient light rejecting screen I really think that that probably is one of the best examples for the full movie making experience you're gonna wanna have the lights off you're gonna wanna watch something with a lot of color that pops one of the greatest demos I think is Gemini Man here it's got beautiful color it's got wonderful black levels skin tones different action scenes you can really make out what this projector screen was meant to do which was just give you that full clarity of that high priced projector that you purchased to make sure you get the best visuals and best contrast out of a screen like I mentioned before there's really not too much to the screen the majority of the operation is setting it up all right, so let's talk price. On Elite Screen's website, it's coming in at $1821.50, and that's US dollars. That price also includes the LED light kit, which is a $179 value. You can choose your options with that on the website. It comes with a two-year warranty as well. The product features typically include that two-year limited warranty, along with setup instructions, but if you need additional guidance, you can use this video as reference, or just ask me questions on my experience setting it up, etc. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me here on The Dangent today. I really hope you liked the video. 
The screen is incredible. I really want to thank Elite Screens for letting us check this screen out. 123 inch, I mean, no border, it's massive. It's a really nice screen. Thank you again, Elite Screens, for giving me the chance to review this screen. I think it works great, especially in the settings that I've had lately with a lot of sports going on, such as March Madness, some hockey, you name it. I can leave a few lights on, I can do some tasks in the background and still get a great image off my Epson LS12000. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys next time and thanks for joining me here on The Dangin.